Hello everybody, Brian Keeler here in Scranton at my uh, one-man show. Actually, it was a two-man show, but for uh, paintings for myself and uh, with the uh, sculptor Ty Wells. And the title of the show was uh, Urban Topographies and Rivers of Light. And uh, uh, just a word about the uh, title. Uh, I, we usually think of topography as being the, the lay of the land, topo maps and so forth, how the, uh, how the fields undulate and so forth. But I took that uh, term and used it for uh, uh, urban topographies. And in other words, seeing how the, uh, the sculptural qualities and geometry of uh, cityscapes and townscapes, uh, so taking that term topography and using it in a different way. But the uh, title was also uh, uh, Rivers of Light. So if you come in on this one, this is uh, uh, sort of the uh, theme painting of, of the show, and it's a, a plein air painting, believe it or not. It's quite large for a plein air painting, but I did it along the uh, Susquehanna River at Sugar Run, Pennsylvania. Um, I think it's on a, a June evening, so it was a beautiful summer evening, and I got it blocked in there and, uh, and did it uh, and finished it up back in the studio. So if you uh, follow me over here, I'm going to go through uh, a few of the paintings, and uh, this is the most recent painting in the show. It's also a, a plein air painting of my hometown, kind of an iconic intersection there in uh, downtown Wyalusing. I did it as part of the uh, Susquehanna Plein Air Festival, and uh, I did it over a couple of nights, and uh, uh, it was raining on uh, Misty one night, and uh, there's actually a, a YouTube clip on my channel that you can see me actually painting this. Uh, uh, painting on location. And over here we have a, uh, a painting of Philadelphia, uh, the uh, Logan Fountain in the summer. On a day like today, it's, it's up to 90 today, so I imagine they're swimming like this at this beautiful fountain in uh, central Philadelphia. And this next one is also a plein air painting done um, near Titanic, Pennsylvania. I think it's called uh, Sweet Valley or, or Sugar Hollow is the name of the of the area. It's just a beautiful valley uh, kind of near uh, Mahopany, which is uh, in Wyoming County, Pennsylvania. And I did uh, go in on the uh, balers there. I invented them uh, and just made them up on the spot, but I had seen them earlier in the day. They were uh, uh, bailing on a, a field on the other side of the valley, so I, I included them to be a, an, an agrarian scene, something like uh, uh, Winslow Homer would paint, or maybe uh, Thomas Eakins, and, or uh, Eastman, those wonderful painters of uh, the American scene. So if you could uh, back up a little bit, back up so you can get kind of an overview. The, the show is really uh, wonderfully hung, beautifully spaced by the, uh, the, the gallery people here, and, uh, and we'll go through a few of them here. This one is... Uh, uh, the Lackawanna River at Oliphant, Pennsylvania. And I believe I started that plein air painting. I've done this uh, scene <clears throat> numerous times over the year. There was a show, uh, oh, about 20 years ago, uh, organized by the Afri Gallery, where we all painted the uh, Lackawanna River. And that's uh, inspired by that river. And this is uh, uh, also Philadelphia, also the Logan Fountain. I've been painting this over the years, and uh, also on my YouTube channel, there's several uh, uh, YouTube uh, installments uh, where you can see me actually painting these, and this is one, uh, I think this is a studio painting, but I did many of them right there on location over the years. Maybe if you go in on, on some of the, uh, the figures. Uh, <clears throat> one of the things I think about is uh, the relationships and the uh, positioning of the figures, and, and these figures here are kind of in a sweet zone, and I like the uh, rhythm of the uh, of the fountains here, and the group of people playing, and the figure up on the uh, on the uh, sculptural uh, uh, figure there, and the figures are by Calder. And uh, if you want a more in-depth uh, description of this fountain, it's uh, also on my YouTube channel. And this painting here, Soul, uh, it's a view of. Um, uh, Wyoming County, Pennsylvania, near Stoll, and I painted this uh, area quite a bit over the years, but not this particular uh, viewpoint. And this one uh, I did uh, quite a few years ago, and it's sort of uh, a scene in a little town uh, just west of Scranton, uh, um, Fleetville, Pennsylvania, and uh, 
the building is still there, but the general store is long gone, and the, uh, of course the uh, uh, telephone booths are, are no longer there, so even though it was only done uh, 20 years ago, it's kind of um, uh, part of our technological history that's no longer <laughs> where this, and this painting is of uh, New York City, it's a uh, view of Central Park with these uh, dog walkers and uh, the, the beautiful uh, afternoon light was one of the things that I was uh, I think he's doing. And I invented this dog here. This was our, our chocolate lab, Gracie, that I had put in there. I just kind of invented her to, to put her in New York City. Okay. Uh, this next one is a, uh, <coughs> a plein air painting done during the Susquehanna Summer Solstice Fest uh, near French's Island. And they come down here. This next one is a Philadelphia scene. You go inside. I, I have an alternate title I call it Elvis Sighting, so going in and, uh, and look at the uh, Elvis uh, mannequin that was out in front of this uh, uh, store near the, um, I think it's the uh, Ben Franklin Bridge in, uh, in Philadelphia. Okay, back up, uh, if you would please. So this painting is of uh, uh, Maniunk, Pennsylvania, and I've done this uh, wonderful mansard roof to, uh, uh, building a couple of times. I did it during the Wayne Plein Air Festival one year, but this is a studio painting. And it's also on the cover of the album of my, my group, uh, uh, Zingology. We use it uh, for the cover of the album because the album is called On the Boulevard, and we thought this illustrated the concept of it. Okay, we'll just kind of walk down through here and uh, we'll do this last one also. <clears throat> this one here is a, uh, a Philadelphia street scene and uh, it's also near the uh, Logan Fountain but I, I love the afternoon light and kind of this uh, 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 the odd part of the uh, large chess players seemed like an interesting theme to me so I was just attracted to the, uh, the visual aspects of it and the, uh, the play of light it was one uh, uh, thing that is kind of a, uh, a light motif uh, throughout my work is uh, the uh, play of light and the play of sunlight. And uh, let's do this last one over here. It's a uh, painting in Scranton. And uh, I have this essay on my uh, on our website, North Star Art Gallery. So if you want to go into more depth about uh, the show, and this painting in particular, I have a very uh, elaborate explanation of the painting, of thinking of divisions. It's a diptych painting, which means it's a two panel. You can see the separate panels here. And I've written some uh, notes here. That's kind of related to my sketching process because I, I often uh, write old notes to myself there, recording things and uh, uh, making color notations or something that inspired me. And it's a uh, scene here in Scranton. And uh, back up again so you can see uh, the whole painting. But uh, just briefly, one of the things that I'm interested in is the divisions of space. And we think of these verticals as vertical. So in a way, it's a very uh, abstract kind of uh, thinking and uh, design. So this is the last day of this show of mine here in Scranton. And um, the title, again, was Urban Topographies and Rivers of Light. And you can see all of these paintings on my website and get the particulars about them. The, uh, dimensions and the, um, and the size and the, the prices, it's briankeeler.com. So I hope you enjoyed this tour of my show here in Scranton at the Artworks Gallery in July of 2023. Thank you.